Hi, I'm Neil Itty, Tally Autos, and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the rear brake pads on an Alpha 147 GT or 156. They are pretty much the same throughout the whole Alpha range. In fact, rear brakes are pretty much the same uh, in most cars, so this guide can be used uh, on a lot of different vehicles. Okay, first of all you need to take your wheel off, which is uh, pretty obvious if you want to change your brakes. Uh, leave the handbrake off, but make sure your car's supported from the front so it can't uh, roll forwards or backwards on you. And now you need a 13 and a 17 mil spanner. There's one connection for the caliper up here and one down the bottom around the back there. So put your spanner in the hole there. I have loosened off these bolts already, but sometimes they can be quite tough. A couple of turns with the uh, spanner and they should start to come loose. And now the one at the bottom. And there we go, pop your bolts to one side. Let's see if the caliper will come off. No, let's get my pry bar. Pry the caliper out slowly. And there we go, caliper's removed. Put the caliper to one side. And now pry off your brake pads. These are quite low, so they've probably welded themselves to the uh, caliper. There you go, still a little bit of life left in these pads, but they are uh, in need of change now. Just need to make sure that your slider pins are free and able to move backwards and forwards. If they are seized in, they are removed by just pulling them out. If they are seized in too much, you can normally get a, um, a chisel on the ends and a good tap with the hammer along there and they will come free. Sometimes you can get away with sanding them down, greasing them back up and popping them back in. But for how easy they are to obtain, I'll just get two new slider pins. If you are changing the brake disc, just undo your pin for your brake disc and then give it a little tap from behind and you should be able to wiggle it out without having to uh, remove the carrier. And this one the customer's decided he does only want the pads changing. Um, the discs really could do with changing but he is going to change those at a later date. I advised him against it but that's what he wants to do. Now we need to rewind the pistons. You can buy the rewind tools for probably about a tenner off eBay or your local motor factors. So you just need, the, it comes with different adapters. You just need to find one which fits inside here. And you can see that's a good fit, so we can get that uh, in there. Pop the tool in, wind it back so the holes fit. And now if you start twisting the tool, I'd like to say it'd wind the caliper in, but let's hope it's not seized. You'll know when it's all the way in because it'll come to a stop. And there we go, that's all removed now. While you've got the wheel off, you may as well check there's no rips in the seal around the edge of the caliper. Make sure there's no cracking in your brake pipes. 
Make sure nothing's rubbing where it shouldn't be. You can check the ends of your metal brake pipes, make sure they're not too rusty. Um, while it's off, it might be handy if you pop some grease on the ends there, just so it stops them from rusting up when you do uh, need to eventually change the brake pipes later on in life. Um, just have a wiggle of all the bushes and make sure nothing else is loose. And the main one is give the underside of your suspension a tap with a hammer because they are renowned for rusting and collapsing. This one is pretty much due to be renewed as well. So I will be advising the customer that uh, these need changing. So the passenger side's even worse than this one. So right, back to the uh, brake change now. Okay, popping the pads in, just put a little bit of copper slip on the ends. Slide it into the holes. Remove the old pads as well out of the way. Now the rear pad. Make sure they're slotted in nicely. And also make sure they're the right way round. Normally you're given new bolts, but I haven't got any with this one, so I'm going to reuse the old ones. And just tighten everything back up now. Now that's all done, we just need to push the brake pedal a few times, pop your brake fluid reservoir cap back on and also check the level of it and put your wheel back on and there you go, you're all done. Thanks for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.